Hi there, welcome back to CSS Cast, where you are learning everything about Bootstrap 4. Well, in the last movie, we have printed this very simple message here that is, Hello world, I'm gonna learn Bootstrap 4. Well, that was really easy, and of course, we are here to learn it in deep. So now for that, let's actually go to this uh, Bootstrap website here and go to the documentation section here. And let me tell you that that HTTPS issue we've actually faced in the last couple of movies. Well, now it's fixed because Bootstrap 4 is now reactivated this SSL certificate. So that's why now you can simply type HTTPS and you know, this URL it's really going to work fine here. So now you don't have to get rid of this SSL. That's great. Now let's go down here and you see there's actually a mini section here. There's a getting started section. There's a layout section contained component utilities about and migration. Well, I'm not going to talk about this getting started section right now because this is really advanced section. I mean I can talk about like download and content here and we don't have to talk about it because we have already included Bootstrap 4 in our project by CDN so it's really easy now the next step browser and devices JavaScript options build tool best practices accessibility are advanced stuff and these are really boring at first so I'm not going to talk about it right now I am going to talk about it in future movies so the most important part that you need to actually you know get familiar with Bootstrap 4 and then later I will talk about let's say best practices how you can actually build your you know custom stuff so I will get back to it in future movies now the next is layout section and also I'm not going to talk about layout right now and that's the only reason because I can explain you layouts right now it's really easy to explain but if I explain it right now then I need to put some dummy text let's say I'm gonna place a dummy text and then simply create a div or container and then I uh, you know explain you but that's not really a best way to explain layouts so first of all you learn about content and component once you've done this one then I will talk about layouts because in layouts we will use real world examples like cars images videos etc so it's really a great way to learn layout to putting some real world examples so you will see that in action that's really cool now the next stuff this content well I'm going to talk about content right here in this movie so let's go ahead and click on content here now if you go down here you can see in content there's actually let's say six uh, you know, topics here that is reboot typography codes images table and figures well let's go ahead and let's learn about this content section so first of all we actually learn about reboot what is reboot well of course you can get back to right here you can just simply just go ahead and just read all of it but you don't have to because that's why I'm here I am going to explain you that what exactly reboot is so now if you want you can simply just go ahead and read all of it it's really easy to like you know read all of it but you don't have to I am going to explain you right now here in this movie so now let me get back to my equator and let me explain you what exactly reboot is for that first of all let me get back to right here this is actually our page and let me hit F11 to just you know distraction free mode here let me get back to my curator here there we go this is my curator and actually I made this equator font a little bit big so you can see it very clearly here now I want to get rid of this uh, part here and even you can see this is actually this is a uh, menu bar so what you can do in in window you can simply hit alt key to get rid of this menu bar here there we go and now you can hit F11 yeah the same key you make your browser window full screen F11 and there we go that's gone now you can see that now it's really clear and distraction free awesome now let me just do one thing let me just get back to here create a one simple uh, styles.css here so this is gonna be like you know my uh, global styles here and you can see I forgot to add it as okay so now I can simply just go ahead hit the and now here I can simply just go ahead let me just uh, you know paste it after this uh, bootstrap style link here because I want to override that one so I can simply hit link and here I'm gonna say okay styles.css there we go right very nice so now if you need to like you know write any uh, styles we can simply get back to here and you can write it here cool so now what is reboot well for that first of all I need to just comment it out this one okay so guess what I'm not using bootstrap right now here now what will happen let me show you if I just go ahead and if I see here paragraph and this paragraph is actually going to fill with let's say uh, let's say how much 20 watts yeah 20 was fine if I get back to here now you can see now there's actually 20 watts and now this is actually our heading 
Well, here see the difference. The by default font is now Times New Roman. Trust me, Times New Roman. Well, let me show you. If I just hit F11, and if I get back to here, now you can see this is actually what font a Chrome extension. If I hit this one, and now if I just hit this one, and if I get back to it, you can see now this is Times New Roman, and this is by default my system font here, right? And you can see this is also Times New Roman. So this is the default styling applied by browser. I'm not even assigning that which font I want to use here. See, I'm assigning here. No, it's just a style assigned by browser. So now what will happen if I just activate this bootstrap here, it's actually going to restyle everything. I mean paragraph, heading 1, 2, heading 6, default tables. It's actually reboot everything. Let me show you. If I get back to here and now you can see now this paragraph and this stuff is changed. Even you can see here that now this uh, particular uh, this heading to tag is now little bit bigger than the previous one. See? Yes, this is really important. And now if I get back to here, if I just once again choose this what font here, and if I get back to here, see, now it's actually system UI. This is actually by default font stack here, which is really cool. And I will talk about it in future movies. So Bootstrap 4 is now rebooted this heading to and this paragraph tag. Well, what other content it's actually reboots? Well, you can simply get back to it here and you can see in content, this is actually you can learn here that style for displaying content with some of the most commonly used HTML elements including normalization, typography, images, tables and more. Well, let me tell you that bootstrap reboot process is now make use of this normalized CSS. Well, what is normalized CSS? Let me just give you a peek here. So I can simply just go ahead, right click and search Google for normalize here. I can simply just go down here, click here and now you can see the normalized CSS which is actually the CSS reset library. You can simply just go ahead click this normalized CSS here it will actually going to just take you github page and here you can see this normalized CSS yeah click here and now you can see here that now it's resetting everything see the HTML is line height is 1.15 and you can see this actually takes at the side is automatically resetting everything based on the system font you see body is now don't have any margin by default body have actually margin so let me show you if I get back to here and you can see there's actually no margin here it's reset everything but if I get back to here if I get rid of this part here now if I get back to here now you will see that there's a margin from the top and from the left see there's also a big difference between this uh, this heading to and paragraph tag so by default it's actually resetting also this uh, body here so if I get back to here now you can see that now it's also setting this article uh, side footer header nav displaying to be block and this uh, heading one is now font size 2m now there's actually free caption figure and main which is display block here see you can actually just go ahead and just you know just uh, take a look at this one so by default it's actually this is all it's actually doing here right very nice so this is what exactly bootstrap rebooting process is yeah let me get back to here and let me give you one more example here so let me hit here f11 and i figured back to here and now you know that is also resetting tables so you can simply just go ahead let's say a table this is actually a simple table here and now what i can do i can simply say here okay fine i need to create a, this is table heading and in table heading let's get out one table row and here i'm gonna say okay fine i need a th and here i'm gonna say okay fine this is my uh, name here and now here i can simply just go ahead copy this part here i'm gonna just paste it right here so now here I'm gonna say okay fine let's say here uh, age right and this is actually name age here and now I can simply just go ahead and here I'm gonna say t body so let's go ahead say t body here and I'm gonna say table row and let's actually create one very simple row here so it's gonna be td into two so there's a two data here and I'm gonna say okay fine I need a Rahul here and let's say here how much let's say here uh, Rahul and age let's say 25 uh, and here I'm gonna just go ahead once again create another row here and let's actually just go ahead and paste right here and I'm gonna say here John right and this is actually let's say uh, okay fine just keep this one let's actually say here 20 here it's fine if I get back to here reload it you can see there's actually our very beautiful table but if I just go up here and get rid of this uh, bootstrap style sit here if I get back to here now you can see that now it's actually have some default margin from the left here but now you can see it's uh, looking nice here but now bootstrap is actually resetting everything I mean it's just restyling this uh, table tag here this uh, 
uh, table data, I mean uh, table body etc and it's making it really look nice. So this is actually bootstrap for rebooting. It's just reset everything and then apply their own written styles to these elements or devs. So that's it. This is what exactly Bootstrap Reboot is. And of course, if you want to learn it in detail, you can simply visit this uh, Reboot doc here and you can just go ahead and learn everything. So you can see it is actually applying in this uh, pre-formatted text, tables, forms, you can see miscellaneous element, address, block quote, inline. All of this is resetted by Bootstrap and applied few Bootstrap styling. So this is it about Bootstrap Reboot. I hope I made all the point clear. If you have any doubt, then let me know in the forum. And thank you so much for joining this movie. See you in the next movie.